Damn. 2045, a new era for humanity. Let's see what this is. The world is on the verge of global change. The speed of data transmission has increased by multiples of millions. The rate of globally significant events and that of discoveries and crises is growing exponentially. Our civilization is like an uncaptained ship sailing on rough seas with neither chart nor compass, all the while moving faster and faster. The time we have to make the right decisions is shorter and shorter. We are facing the choice to fall into a new dark age, into affliction and degradation, or to find a new model for human development and create not simply a new civilization, but a new mankind. Historic crises show that to break the deadlock, we need technological revolution. It is clear that today's revolution will also require the deepest social transformation. The world's community and leaders should encourage mankind instead of wasting resources on solving momentary problems. To focus on the technologies of the future, nanotechnology, biotechnology, information technology, cognitive technology, genetics and robotics. Doing so will allow us to find new sources of energy, create fundamentally new architecture and transportation, allow unprecedented developments of human cognitive abilities, refine artificial intelligences and brain-computer interfaces, simulate complex systems, create humanoid robots and cyborgs, and with the help yeah, of nanorobots, all... we may develop... This all sounds like everything that is anti-human. <laughs> Let's become everything that is anti-human to survive. Right, Ross? Oh, you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now you're um, good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I just I I can't worry about it though, right? It's like because this is the same message we've been getting since the Matrix came out, right? But yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm not. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not saying... I'm not worried about these little computers, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried about these little niggas, man. I know, but yeah, no. It's, it, Did I, God make everything? He yes. made the computers too, right? All right, stop worrying then, man. But yeah. what if it is the end of humanity and the new... Didn't you want that? Didn't you say you wanted that a few minutes ago? <laughs> you got what you wanted, right? You should be happy about this. This should, this should, this should have you bricked up over there. Well, it all depends. Maybe if it is the end of humanity, then maybe it's because maybe it's the end of the virtual reality game for the human species. Because listen, the only we thing turn into transformers, a more efficient living. We all get robot bodies, so that way we can travel through quote unquote fake space and not to worry about our skin and bones deteriorating because it's so brittle. Yeah, something like that. That's what they want. But uh make it back to prime. Yeah, they want to turn everything into perfection, but perfection kills uh, life, doesn't it? I don't... I never made that leap. <laughs> perfection kills life? Okay. That's, <laughs> what I mean that's what is... you just said. <coughs> right, it sounds ridiculous, don't it? Yeah, no, but... Perfection kills life, don't but, we agree? But what... <laughs> huh? Well, what I mean is... Who said that? The, the beauty of humanity is that I'm it's... A, I, think I'm, I think I'm pretty perfect. I don't okay. kill life, I make life. But what I mean is, the beauty of humanity is that it has flaws. And I yeah. think women are perfect. And yeah, they're, they're perfect. They should run In every everything. every way. They should run everything, including soldiers. No, I didn't uh, say that. <laughs> but, do you know what I mean? A robot aims to have no flaws. This was the eh, point eh, of the eh, Matrix. Eh, eh, I know, eh, this is... Eh. So, in the Matrix, right, the reason why they needed Neo is because all they can do is calculate to the natural end. And so when they get taken over by a virus, Agent Smith, the, if the calculations are Agent Smith wins, then Agent Smith wins. So why do they need Neo? Because we don't care about calculations. As humans, we have the ability to see something that's not there and have hope to create something new. We can physically yeah. keep going and create something new with our God-given endowment. 
So it separates us from the machines. So don't you right? think? So don't so you bring think? Bring it on! So don't you think though that the machine knows this somehow that we have the no, creative? Look. Hold on, that we have the creativity part. No, so, I don't think that. No. So he wants to merge with us I so he can the machine steal. Knows any of that. I don't think they have cognitive ability. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you know, though? How do you, how don't you know you that? You ask me, what do I think? I, I know, I I'm know. I'm you. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying, how do you know that the, the artificial intelligence or whatever it is hasn't calculated that it is missing the creative part that is in the human, human that is in the human. Therefore, it needs to merge with the human to get that aspect or get that feature of humanity the creativity so so that it can become complete you know all right then it'll, it'll just be us so nothing to fear <laughs> this is all speculation anyway bro it's all speculation i'm like look we don't fucking know you don't know have you seen vince have you seen a robot that can successfully move anything close to a human yet no, not yet no you haven't not even close right have you seen a robot no they got yeah they have things that can out calculate us but what we're doing as humans is something way different than what we've even be able to come close to, to replicate on a robot level. Now, maybe in a thinking capacity, we're close, right? Yeah. But it's, it's still not the same thing. It's not, right? Okay. The ability to consolidate information and come out with the best answer is not the same thing as being, as being able to determine when to lie, right? When to be halfway honest, when to read body language. You understand all these things that are involved in our everyday life, right? Not just answering questions and knowing information. No, no, it's about reading body language, knowing when to love, when to be quiet and listen. That's a huge part of being a, hu a human being, isn't it? Knowing when to be quiet. I'm saying that a robot can never do this. Yeah, you got a point. Know. You got a well, point. At least not, not for like, we got to be like, we, we're talking about we're super advanced technology. And that technology is so advanced. How do we distinguish that from us now? Because now we just, you know what I mean? It's like, what are we trying to do? Let's just keep having babies. It's the same thing. <laughs> All right. Anyway, good points. Good. good points. I like those points. Let's, let's get but back. But I, I, huh? I, do, I do understand the aspect of if we make complicated weapon systems that are, are able to be taken over by some fucking, you know what I mean, random computer technology. That's very dangerous. Yes. Yeah. But I don't think that, it, that it'll, it'll get to the point where it leads to the end of humanity. Yeah. I digress. Yeah. Okay. Manageable matter. Find ways to transfer one's personality to an artificial carrier. Yet what we need is not just another technological... In a British voice, too. Ah, oh, fucking... Yeah. Revolution, revolution, but a new civilizational paradigm. We yes. need new philosophy and ideology, new ethics, new culture and new psychology, and even new metaphysics. We must reset our limits, go beyond ourselves. Hey, think about this when we're robots. When we're trying to have physical sex to robots. You know, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure they would make it more real than that. Then. You yeah. see Westworld? They can't yeah. tell in Westworld, right? Okay, okay. Beyond the Earth and beyond the solar system. This is an adequate response to the challenges of our time. Thus, new reality. I mean, I guess you wouldn't even need to do the whole uh, action. You could, you could just transfer the, the emotion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a USB. Transfer the semen. You know. So you haven't, you haven't seen Westworld, right? I don't know. Maybe I have. I don't. And remember. you haven't seen Future Man. No, I don't think so. Not Future Man. Both of these shows have this concept. Like yeah. Westworld, the whole show is about it. Future yeah. Man. They just have and and Seth Rogen is in is in Future Man. He's one of the writers. Okay. He, he like they go all the way to like, you know, thirty seven twenty nine. Yeah. In in Earth future, and he basically like has a robot wife, pretty much. Where it's like he bought her and paid for her, but he's leasing her, and so it's like when he's getting ready to lose his job, they're like, we're gonna take your wife and kids away, because they're like robot kids. Yeah. But I guess I guess the robots would 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 deem uh, our way of sexual intercourse as primitive. Why do you need to go up, down, up, down, up, down? Let's just transfer. Well, this the, is, this, but then at that point, what's the purpose of life then? <laughs> then we might, no, I mean, I know, everybody I know. will just be bits of information. I know. The point, the point of it is the actions and the feelings, the emotions. Yeah. The reason why we have sex like that is because it's way better, nigga. It's way <laughs> better. It feel what? Try, try it, dude. I'm saying this like, so there, there's a, uh, uh, 
go ahead. We'll talk though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just that the robot wants everything to be more efficient. Like, uh, don't don't need all that shit. Just transfer. That's, that's uh, why it can never yeah. beat us because that's yeah. not the point of life. It's not necessarily efficiency. Yeah, yeah. Like you, what, what's efficient about beauty? What's efficient about a peacock's tail? Nothing. Yeah. There's nothing efficient about it. <laughs> but there's something. I I think it might just be for us. I think it's because we like looking at the peacock, so that's why they they have those tails. <laughs> well, otherwise, otherwise, what good is it? Yeah, this is the only thing they've been able to come up with. Yeah, the reason why they have those tails, right, is because it shows that they're so much dominant over nature that it can have that tail, which is basically holding it back and making it easier to spot for predators and still survive. Yeah, I'm like, you guys are psychoanalyzing the goddamn peacocks. That doesn't make no fucking sense. Yeah. Anyway. All right. <laughs> And future man will arise. Could it happen spontaneously, by itself? Unlikely. Humanity does not have a master plan of its development. It seeks stability. It lives in the present and does not plan. It preserves the status quo and tries to escape development. Do you see how this sounds like uh, condescending towards yeah, humanity? Yeah, and it's a lie. That's not even true. How would we have the society that we have today if that was true? Yeah, right? Because men, is, men are constantly innovating. Yeah. So that's it does not yeah. tend to map future centuries and take responsibility for evolution. In consumer society's culture, there is no evolutionary vocabulary and rhetoric. And do you, do you hear the clown music while he was saying that? Yeah. That, that was to add even more insult. Like, humans are idiots. Therefore, you should not be human. You should just completely transform yeah, you into. You want to be a robot. Yeah, that's what this is. This is an ad for robots. Yeah. To break the deadlock, the Russia 2045 movement was founded. It is a mega project intended to reach new heights and meanings. <sighs> we intend to create a new I thought, vector I thought for civilization. for the future. I huh? thought humans didn't plan for the future. Right? And Good. Now point. There's a Russia 2045 project? <laughs> Good point. Yeah, you exposed him right there. I mean, unless he's a robot and not a human. I don't know. Maybe that was AI talking with an AI voice pretending to be a British guy. <laughs> but yeah, you got a point there. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's either way. Go ahead. Civilization yeah. aimed at constant human development and evolution. And also, also, Pay attention to the music now. It's like victorious. Dun, 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 dun. Psychological stuff. Shout out, Gonzo. I see you in there, my brother. Okay. As happened with the mega projects of the last century, the nuclear and the space programs, we integrate the latest discoveries and developments from the sciences, physics, oh, energetics, yeah. bullshit, yeah, aeronautics, from the science. From the Energetic science. Broad terms. Yeah. Bioengineering, nanotechnology, neurology, cybernetics, cognitive. Oh, oh, I'm getting a hard on a robotic one. <laughs> Science. Yeah, think about it. Uh, it's a cartoon. Well, have, have for years we've been. Have we ever seen anything like that at all in real life? Ever? Never. What do you mean? They allegedly had one at the Super Bowl. Like, oh, okay. A robot. There's no like human humanoid even think anything close to robot in, in robotic form right now they can't even come close i mean they're they, they are getting the facials down facials <laughs> right, yeah. faces yeah go ahead like go be the, the face yeah. <laughs> the lasting spiritual ideals and values help us avoid going astray pro huh? see see like <laughs> That point that I made though was was really a deep point. You know what I mean? Go for about it. them not being able to recognize body language and stuff. Yeah. Because think about it, like think about how much trouble we have as, as humans, right? Yeah. I, I tell the story all the time, dude. I tell the story all the time about you know, like there's there's like I mess with young chicks all the time, and most of the time I'm trying to vet them, and of course some of it is 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 on purpose, but sometimes I'm just ignorant when they're like physically throwing themselves at me because. I mean, they're not that interested or I'm just not picking up on body language like that. Yeah. I struggle with that shit all the time, you know? So it's like you're you think that something that is just a calculative brain is going to be able to take over so, like uh, something that's as manipulative <laughs> as a woman. Like think about how manipulative and cognitively in tune women are where they can pick up all the so, tiny little intricacies of a body language. Yeah, I get it. Let me ask you this then. 
So in other words, you're saying that that will be a that will be a field where the robot will be doing a lot of mistakes trying to you know read a human's body language. It will make well, a lot of mistakes. This, yeah. Well, how about this, Vince? If if the world is really just a virtual reality that is being constantly rendered by our collective consciousness, yeah. right? Where it's confirmed 80% of the vision takes place in the memory. Think about it. 80% of the vision takes place in the memory. How is a robot that doesn't have a brain that's connected to our neural net going to even be involved in the world that we're involved in? If it really is that deep, right? Yeah. It would be impossible then, right? Literally impossible. Exactly. That's why they can't get it done. So wouldn't, right. wouldn't it be the only way then for them to merge with us? But then you said, then That's they right. are us, right? Then they're just us now. Unless they can control us somehow with the chips. What, what's, what's controlling what? What do you mean? Yeah. You're not your body. You're controlling the body. So even if it gets in your body, it can never take over you. Because then it wouldn't be you anymore. It would just be something. So do you mean you're, you're a consciousness? Do you're you like, think do you think it could control other aspects of our brain except for the create except for the creativeness of our brain? Or do you link creative the creative part of us being being I think, like full? I think your I think your mind is outside of your body. Around your body. You know mm. what I mean? And your brain might be like the antenna that keeps that energy that is you tethered to the Dude. body. Okay. You know what I mean? Interesting. Like like a magnet, right? A magnetic field um, is not on the magnet. The magnetic field is outside of the magnet, right? Mm. Your body's just the magnet, and you're the the energetic field. So you exist infinitely, right? You can you can picture Africa right now, and your consciousness is stretched that far. Yeah. You know what I mean? Daydreaming. I mean, yeah. in a more practical sense, you can you can like look at the wall and your consciousness is stretched there. It's literally stretched at the wall, you know. Interesting. I yeah. Think. Okay. The project will give new meanings to the millions of people on Earth, will become a result of their joint creativity, and will lead us out of the ampass. Away from the murder of nature and physical death, forward to the realm of freedom and creativity, to the depths of the ocean and to the stars, to the infinite universe of our inner world. Our forecast for the next 40... Mm -hmm. It's classic propaganda, right? You, you associate what you know they want with what it is that you have. Do you want, you know, this, that, and the third? Or do you want... Freedom and opportunity, yeah. creativity, exploring the ocean. The stars. Go to the stars, galaxy. Oh, oh, so we're not doing that now? What the fuck is all that money going for? <laughs> yeah, it's just pretense right now, but it will be for real later. <laughs> go, go to the stars. Okay, but what are we looking for? You know what I mean? <clears throat> what what are we doing? Like, what, what are we traveling the stars, supposed stars? To find what? The answer to life? Do you think you will find the answer to life in a star some, somewhere? Yeah, the answer, the answer to how to keep stealing money in this <laughs> life so they don't have to work. Just yeah. like that. Yeah. Two years. February 2012. Global Future 2045 Congress is held in Moscow. It is a debate platform for discussion of our civilization's prospects for development. 2012 to 2013, the global economic and social crises are exacerbated. The debates on the global paradigm of future development intensifies. New transhumanist movements and parties emerge. Russia 2045 transforms into World 2045. Simultaneously, the 2045.com International Social Network for Open Innovation is expanding. Here, anyone interested may propose a project, take part in working on it, or fund it, or both. In the network, there are scientists, scholars, researchers, financiers, and managers. 2013 to 2014. I mean, I mean, again, I have to say this again. What are we doing all of this for? Like, I can see having robots in order to, uh, in order to uh, 
have people not be working, uh, you know, for food or shit like that. I can see robots for that and that's it. End it there. Have robots doing food. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so that humans. You know, it, it, yeah, to me, it's all fear mongering. I think that they just have to make sure that you, it's like a, it's like a wife watching her husband trying to sit down and watch some TV. You know what I mean? She's like, hey, I need you to, I need you to come, come throw the trash out. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they, they just want to make sure that there's always a looming fear in you about what's going to happen. All right. Yeah. And also, okay, and, and sorry for the wives out there. All right? I get like, I'm, I, I'm, look, I don't, yeah. I just, it's a joke. Okay. Yeah. What I mean is that it's like, it, they're like a nagging wife where they're just like, I don't like the minute that they start chilling, then they start thinking. When they start thinking, they start reading. And when everybody starts reading, you're all going to be like me. That's it. You're going to be like, oh, fuck the. Excuse me. Yeah. I was saying, you, you, you start reading too much. Like I said, once you, once, the, when I, once I realize the people that write the laws don't follow the laws, you understand the perspective? Like, yeah. imagine that perspective, right? The, what is the relationship with you and the people who have those laws? All right. What could the relationship be? But you make the, a law, a rule that you don't have to follow. I'm your subject. All right, so yeah. live your life accordingly. All but right? do you see short? Like, do you see um, a purpose, like a, a use for robots? Like, where is your limit with the robots? You know what I mean? I, I, I like I said, I don't really have a limit because I think that the only thing it could do is benefit us. Let the sex robots start coming in. You feel me? Like that's how you get women to act right. What? They can't get pregnant by a fake male robot. You know what I mean? But we don't need to get nobody pregnant. That's our goal. Our goal is to have sex with no pregnancy, okay? So the sex robots coming in is going to, what? The women, you know what the women are going to have to do? They're going to have to do the things that the women, that the women robots can't do, which is what? Empathy, listening, being, you know what I mean? All the stuff they don't do now because they know that a man needs to have sex. And so they could basically just be robots now. So if we get robots, actual robots, then I can <laughs> shut the voice box off. Then they're gonna have to now be sweeter and nicer. Interesting. So I'm like, look, take it as far as you want. I'm not in fear of any of that. That's why I think that they, I think that the more, <laughs> I think the more that they that they put out the propaganda, the more people fear it, the more problems will actually arise. I think real problems will arise if we're thinking about that. Okay. We, you know, mm. we create the problems. You know, okay. Okay. I, I think that's the purpose. The, the propaganda will insert the idea that something bad is going to happen, and then you'll create something bad. Okay. New centers working on cybernetic technologies for the development of radical life extension rise. The race for immortality starts. 2015 to 2020, the avatar is created. A robotic human copy controlled by thought via brain-computer interface. It becomes as popular as a car. In Russia and in the world appear, in testing mode, several breakthrough projects. Android robots to replace people in manufacturing oh, yeah? tasks. Oh, 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 oh yeah, it's 2015 they said. Yeah, right? 2015 to 20. Okay, so that's almost 10 years ago now, right? Where when the is, fuck is it at? When is why, why are you still? Where's the actual? Where's the avatar? Okay, this show me somebody's human avatar. Since you guys have been working on this for 10 years, and you should at least have a prototype. Show me one that blew up. Uh, maybe they show do. Show me a thick meat suit. Show Ross, me something. Maybe they have what? it, but haven't they haven't introduced it? But they're just putting yet. the commercial out. I don't know, but this video is from 2012. They don't have it. They have not figured that out. Hell I no. mean, I don't know if I buy that. You know, I think they well, have taken on. I have not seen yeah, it. Yeah, but just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean they don't have it. You know what I mean? Like, They're putting commercials out about it. Yeah, but this is from 2012. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I don't know. But, but what I mean right. is, do you really think that, you know, right now where we got AI art and AI music and AI this, AI that, do you think that, that that was actually just created or did they have like that technology 10, 20 years ago? Vince, we don't know if that technology was here thousands of years ago. Eh, okay, even worse or better. <laughs> like, yeah, but anyways. Android robot servants for every home. Thought controlled avatars to provide telepresence in any place of the world and abolish the need for business trips. Flying cars. Thought-driven mobile communications built into the body or sprayed onto the skin. 
2020 to 2025, an autonomous system providing life support for the brain and allowing it interaction with the environment is created. The brain is transplanted into an Avatar B. With Avatar B, man receives new, expanded life. <laughs> 2020. I'm sorry. That looks so ridiculous. How hard they're trying to push. Uh, you want me to believe this is real? <laughs> Look at that ballerina robot right there. Created. The brain is transplanted into an Avatar B. <laughs> With Avatar B, man receives new, this expanded so life. 2025. The new generation of avatars provides complete transmission of sensations from all five sensory robot organs to the operator. Robot 2030 organs. to 2035. Rebrain. The colossal project of brain reverse engineering is implemented. World science comes very close to understanding the principles of consciousness. 2035. The first successful attempt to transfer one's personality to an alternative carrier. The epoch of cybernetic immortality <laughs> begins. 2040 to 2050. Bodies made of nanorobots that can take any shape arise alongside hologram bodies. 2045 to 2050. Drastic changes in social structure and in scientific and technological <laughs> development. <laughs> All the prerequisites for space expansion are established. For the man of the future, war and violence are unacceptable. The main priority... Hold on, what? War and what? For the man of the future, war and violence are unacceptable. War and violence are unacceptable. Hmm. JLD. Acceptable. Yeah, yeah, JLD. They also dropped an atomic bomb on <laughs> Nagasaki. Okay, yeah, I know. I'm waiting for both of those to come out. The mm. robots you say that got the weapons that's going to be patrolling the streets and killing everybody, and the atomic bombs they dropped on Nagasaki. All right, I'm, I'll be waiting on both. The main priority of his development is spiritual self improvement. A new era dawns. The era of neo humanity. All seeing eye. Oh, all seeing eye right there. I see. I see <laughs> yeah. Dude. Let's give us right, give right. our final thoughts on this because this video is twenty seven minutes now. Uh, right, right. What you want to say? Yeah, I, 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 I listen. I don't buy this. This sounds like a fucking push for uh, robotics to become normalized or you know the norm or the default, and humanity is just bad, and you know we should get rid of humanity and just go full digital nonsense stay alive forever i think that will be hell i'm not in this ride for this uh for this era i'm not gonna i'm gonna jump from a cliff for something when this shit happens because i'm not going into a fucking machine ain't gonna happen you're you're well, you're gross. Yeah. well i'm gonna tell you like this no matter what happens i'm gonna be in that bitch like rambo you feel me i don't give a fuck i'm gonna have motherfucking war paint on me that's right. But no shirt and, 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 and I'm finna have ammo all over me. Um, you know, JLD dog, it's not it's not that I, you know, like I said, I I don't put it past I don't put anything past anybody, all right? But the reality is that I just don't fear none of this other BS. All right. I'm not I'm not the I'm not the type of person that, that feels like, you know, I should be afraid of passing away. Cause that's the worst that's gonna happen, isn't it? The worst going to happen is you pass away. And that is what this video... Right. So why live your life in fear, man? Yeah, this video was saying, listen, we're going to get uh, past dying and we will become immortal. Right. It's like, dude, you guys don't... <laughs> why? Why is dying, you know, so bad? It's part of life. Well, it's the fear of the unknown. I yeah. understand. Yeah. It's the fear of the unknown, but that's but such as That's life. all it is. That's why yeah. you guys... This is why everybody's so scared of living and so afraid of doing shit in life, because it's the same thing. Yeah. This is why. This is what makes life fun. This is what what, what makes life good. That you it's, don't it's know the, what's coming up. Yeah. I don't I say that all the time. Why would you play a game that you, you know you're gonna win for exactly. sure every or, time? Or watch a movie that you already know what's coming well, up. Well, I do that sometimes, but that's the study. <laughs> right? But 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 really though, it's like it's the fear of not knowing what's gonna happen, and then it turns out good. And you're like, Ooh, that's yeah. what makes it. That's right? the like, thrill. holy shit. That's we the almost thrill. died. Yeah, that's and we the made thrill. it. Yeah. That's yes, the thrill. That's what makes yeah. life better. All right. So you guys stop being so damn scared. Yeah. You're right. All right? 
And it's gonna happen to you, so let it go. Yeah. But enjoy that, your fucking self. Yeah. But damn. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, enjoy yourself.